Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Saluki Mania where uh, I'm SIU writer Todd Heffelman and with me is the sports editor of our fine establishment, Les Winkler. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about the all-century basketball team. Voting is now open uh, at SIUSalukis.com. You pick 25 players off of their list of uh, 52, I believe it is. Uh, four coaches out of the six. Um, Les and I have already picked our teams as far as the paper. I haven't gone online and picked mine yet, but I probably will. But uh, free of charge, it's, it's celebrating SIU's 100th year of basketball. Um, now the, they have a lot of great players. They have 27 Hall of Famers, so you can't pick only Hall of Famers and think that'll get you through. But uh, I, I went with the best overall players. Um, some of the role players, like uh, Kai Nurnberger, um, I thought was, was worthy of the, the cause. Marcus Timmons was one of my first picks because he's top 10 in almost every major category, which is, is stunning to me still. Um, but what, what did you look at when you were trying to pick your guys less? What you got first, like Walt Frazier, Chico Vaughn, and Dick Garrett, and well, Mike Glenn? Well, who'd, what, you, who'd you get? Well, well, the, first, the first thing I did was, was uh, I looked at the NFL column, uh, the NBA column. And not, not, that the, not that an NBA player would automatically be in, but I looked at, I looked at those nine guys and when, when, you, when you looked at their statistics and who they were and what they did, uh, it, it was beyond comprehension to me that any one of those nine would not be on. Uh, you know, you, when you're talking Josie Merriweather, Mike Glenn, um, uh, Chico Vaughn, who just passed away, and we have to say that Josie Merriweather, too, it's, it's really ironic and really sad that those two guys passed away at this time. But Troy Hudson and people like that, you know, when you look at, you look at what they did at SIU, they belong. And you know, and I saw a lot of those guys play. Ashraf Amaya, another one, was just one of the most dominant players yeah. here uh, during that that stretch. And, and then the next thing I did is I looked at who was who was in the top three of the major statistical statistical categories, and that got you people like Seymour Bryce and Kent Williams, yeah. Darren Brooks, people like that. And you know, what once it got down past the 19 or 20 point, that's where for me the decisions became tough. Mm -hmm. And and one of the things that was really tough for me is I go back, I, start, I was an undergrad here starting in 1972. So from 1972 on, I've got a fair idea of who the people were. But prior to 1972, I just really don't know, other than, other, obviously, than Walt Frazier. Yeah. And so I, I went back and tried to look at the people who played in the 40s and 50s and, and 60s and just tried to make the best informed decision I can make. Obviously, mm -hmm. Seymour Bryson was in that group. He still is the all-time leading rebounder at SIU. Yeah. So I just tried to pick a couple guys from there, and, and then I went back to the uh, stat filler type mm -hmm. type guys, you know, who's, who's, who's good, who was good across the board in all the categories. And I think I've got a representative team, and I would be the first to say that it's not perfect. And if anybody wants to get online and argue with me or, or send emails and argue, Let's go for it because that's what I like to do. That's a lot of fun. Um, I think I think I've got 25 very very good players. Are they the best 25 that anybody could pick? Never claiming that, but it was fun to try to do it, and it was hard. I had three or four pieces of paper crumpled next to me, and mm -hmm. all kinds of notes and media guides, and three or four web pages up. But uh, it was fun, but it was tough. I remember going through you. You and I had the opportunity to do those stories on the different decades, and those were. Those were great because some of the guys that I didn't remember, you know, that because they played so long ago, but that they, just, they really haven't come into the, the the part of my job where I started, uh, and I've only been here ten years. I'm not a Southern Illinois resident, so it was all a little bit long before the '60s and '70s. It was a lot of it was new to me, and, and I, I read Fred Huff's book, fantastic read if you ever want to pick it up, or if you don't have it. Uh, it, it not only has like, kind of how how the season went, but he has some some great milestones in there. I had no idea that Itchy Jones played basketball for one year. Um, Seymour Bryson was the all-time leading scorer at the time. He left school as well, and now he's in the top ten. Chico Vaughn only played 85 games and set this all the scoring records. Um, I did not have Greg Sterick or Troy Hudson on my team. I, I went towards the end, and Sterick's going to kill me. I love you, Greg. Um, just I got to the end, and, and I just I had my core, my core group of like 15 guys. I knew we were going to be on it. And then I was just kind of trying to decide between those ten, um, and I, I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly who, who I picked my last five, but I remember that was tough. And I, I'm going to ask you on the, on camera, Les, 
you and I both picked Chris Lowry as a coach. Uh, how long did you think about that? And I don't, I don't believe I picked Gallatin. I, the, I had to go with Hartman, Weber, Heron, and Lowry. The coach, that was as hard or harder than the players. Every one of those guys, in my estimation, are, are Hall of Famers. I mean, they, yeah. all did, they all did special things at SIU. Chris obviously left with a lot of bad feeling and a lot, a lot of hatred. I mean, there was hatred. I, there is and, 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 still today. Yeah. And I'm being well, taken to task. Or not. I'm being taken to task on Saluki Nation uh, for for picking Chris Lowry. But you cannot argue with his winning percentage while he was here. You cannot argue with the, the NCAA tournament appearances. Uh, did he do a great job all the way through? Nobody's going to say that, and nobody's claiming that. But. He did preside over the best era. The, I mean, and it's a snapshot in time, but that snapshot in time was a Pulitzer Prize winning snapshot. Yeah. I mean, it, it was the greatest four or five years of SIU basketball ever. To ignore that because he left on bad terms and his last couple teams stunk, uh, I don't think is fair. Uh, like I said, write a letter to the editor. Send, send, send me an email. I'll, I'll stick it's, with my pick. It's, it's so interesting because you'll never have – Maybe it never had it at any other program. You, there's never going to be somebody, unless they've been there for 20 or 30 years, that was part of not only the best team in school history with wins, but the worst as well. Right. And, you know, you look at the, the contract, are, are people going to take that into consideration that he earned a contract that <clears throat> anybody else in his position would have asked for and possibly gotten? Or more. And, or more. You know, it's interesting. I never at thought, the time. I never thought about that yet, but I, I think he was the coach. Of, he does hold the record for most wins in season and fewest, doesn't he? Yeah. twenty. So, well, I mean, losses. Most losses. I, I don't know about the, the, the most least wins in a season. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, and I mean, he, he was a polarizing figure while he's here, but um, you know what? You can call me names, but I'm sticking by my pick. Do you think he'll make it? Uh, Do you think the rest of the world or the you know, public? You know, I don't. I don't really. In? I really don't know because these things. These things tend to be skewed toward the last five or ten years, mm -hmm. and I think. I think the younger people um, are probably going to be less forgiving, maybe than some old guy like me. But um, it's it's going to be interesting. But then again, you know, are they going to pick Harry Gallatin, who's way back in the '60s, who? Probably, you know, if you're if you're a 23, 24, 20 something, you know, he probably seems as irrelevant as Santa Claus at this point. But, um, you know, it's <laughs> that that looking at that, I'm like, oh, this is going to be tough. And and I did, you know, I gave it some thought, but you know, I still think he belongs. Paul Lambert and Herod Gallatin were the other two coaches uh, that were nominated for the All Century Team. Gallatin was only here a couple years, never had a losing season. High scoring teams with, with Chico Vaughn with. Who wouldn't with the, with that group that he had, and then uh, Paul Lambert Lambert died tragically, but had some great years here. Lambert had already taken a job at Auburn when he died. Mm -hmm. He was he was on a recruiting trip, I believe, for Auburn when he left. But he was here during the uh, Mike Glenn, Josie Merriweather, uh, Corky Abrams, Gary Wilson, uh, Perry Hines, that bunch of great basketball teams. Just that was during my undergrad days. That was just a great time to be a Saluki fan. But Paul and Harry did not have the longevity that the other guys had, which right. is sort of why I stayed away from them. And as I said, both of them, you know, if, if both of them make it, it won't be it won't be a travesty, it won't be a shame, it'll be an honor they well deserve. But when you when you when you've got six coaches of that of that nature and only four can make it, you know, it's someone's gonna feel bad and someone's gonna be left out who you can make an argument for that they should have been there. And that, you can say that about all the nominees. Right. I mean, everybody on that list, you know, had had a part in Saluki history, a big part in Saluki history, and and ranks as among the best. And we'll be curious to see who the team is. They will be honored in February. Uh, they're not sure exactly about the weekend yet. It'll be the first two weekends of February. Uh, ironically, one of them is the Missouri State game, where Paul Lusk will be here, and Paul Lusk was nominated uh, as possibly a member of the All Century team. I'm not sure if he will make it, but we we will see. Um, but thanks for joining us. Uh, go online and vote, and hopefully we'll see what the team looks like in February. Write us a letter. Write us a letter. <laughs> Write me a letter, too.